joined on commentary for our co-main event of the evening by one of my all-time favorite fighters, former UFC heavyweight champion, Frank Mir. I'm glad to be here, man. Both fighters up to scratch. Andrew Glenn calls knuckle up round number one. Silver trunks for Jake Bostwick. Red, white, and blue trunks for Jake Vogel. I think what Bostwick was saying as far as not worrying about getting a hit, I think sometimes it is a confidence of going in there and applying your technique without so much apprehension of what's going to come back. Some guys go in there gun shy. They don't throw shots because they are worried. Now, obviously, as Chris was talking about, you can be a little too cavalier, and that can be very disastrous at the same time. Overhand right just misses the mark from Bostwick. Couldn't agree more, Frank. You better go in there with the idea you can't be knocked out because if you're tentative, you're going to have problems. Check left hook lands from the Englishman, Jake Bostwick. Vogel much more in a traditional boxing stance. Hands low. I think once Bos or Vogel saw that overhand right, switched to southpaw. If he's capable of doing it, it makes that a much more difficult punch to land on your opponent when you're standing opposite stances. Bostwick missing with a huge overhand right. Left lands on the shoulder. Bostwick hands high there, but he's been sticking out his chin, dropping his hands, trying to bait Vogel to the inside. Man, Bostwick is throwing some thunder, man. He's throwing hard punches right now. If we land one of those, it's going to be a short night. Lead left hook from Tyler Vogel. This yeah. is with that, misses again. And Vogel's so lazy with his left hand. Huge right hand. Oh, Vogel like walked through that punch. That snapped his head. 30 seconds remaining round number one. Lead overhand left from Jake Bostwick. Oh, oh nice up On the counter shots, big right hand from Vogel. Now into the pocket. Overhook yep. held by Bostwick. <laughs> Good work from Vogel in the clinch. Vogel clipped him. Vogel had him hurt right there. He's just waiting to counter right now, looking for the right timing, waiting to land those uppercuts. Bostwick throwing back. Final seconds, round number one of our co-main event, Jake right, Bostwick right, versus right, Tyler Vogel. Right, we right, head right. to round two. It's your daughter Back something up. that you actually know about. My daughter did cheerleading. I, I don't have much <laughs> advice for him. Can you hit the other girls? No, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, big right hand. Thing. Round number two. Bostwick coming forward with purpose. Rear right uppercut. Vogel pulled it back just as soon as he threw it. I'm in Boswick's corner, I'm telling him, you got to come in behind that jab and then throw your big punches. Don't just come lead overhand rights. That's where those uppercuts come into play. Off the snap jab. Blood in the mouth of Jake Bostwick. Vogel just missed with that right hand. I felt like when, when Vogel threw that right hand, he wasn't even trying to land. He just showed him that it's there. You do that a lot of times when you're fighting. Sometimes a guy will go for movement. You'll show him, like, hey, if you do that again, this is what's waiting for you. Exactly. You know, kind of way of controlling the uh, the pace of the match. Step in pressure again. You can see Vogel trying to keep this at range. Boswick continually coming to the inside, holding the over, but those are big rights to the body from Vogel. Boswick needs to stop him from doing that. He's just clinching right now and letting him... Relying on his toughness. Yeah. yeah, Boswick's not using as much, uh, you know, skill coming in. He's throwing one shot at a time, two shots, but just explosive, trying to fire in instead of setting anything up. He really hasn't set up a shot in what uh, that I've seen so far. 30 seconds remaining, round number two. Very even fight. Vogel misses with that right hand. Double jab, and the second jab drops Tyler Vogel. Mm. Looked like he kind of got him in the back of the head, maybe. I don't, I don't, hard to tell from this angle. I thought he stepped on his foot when yeah, he tripped him. Yeah, yeah. It didn't look like it was a, a good shot of anything. Put your hands up. Here you go. Knuckle up. I think the crowd agrees with us that it wasn't a... Final seconds, round number two. It is ruled as a knockdown by Andrew Glenn. And in a very close fight, likely a 10-8 round for Bostwick as we move to round three. Knuckle up. Round number three. Long straight jab from Vogel. There's the overhand right from Bostwick. Double jab again from Bostwick. Vogel really entered with huge belief in his boxing. Thought that he could keep Bostwick on the outside. Thought that he could piece him up with his boxing. Well, and I like, even though right now it seems like he's on the tail end of it, but he's made a mental adjustment so far in this round to actually start being more aggressive. First two rounds, Vogel's just been going backwards and kind of trying to counterfight. 
and not really imposing any kind of will or, or taking charge. So far at the beginning of this, he's attempting to, even though it's looking better for Bostwick, but the mindset of Vogel has been to take over a little bit more. I think that knockdown, you know, lit a fire under him. Yeah, definitely more aggressive this round coming out. He's got to be careful because he's opened himself up to these huge overhand counters. Well, what you were telling about what Vosco, Vosco needed to do about getting in closer, and essentially Vogel will do that for him if he throws a lazy shot coming forward and closes the distance. Two right hands, counter right hand from Jake Bostwick. I'd like to see Vogel come in and then get out to an angle, get out to a side. 45 seconds remaining round number three. Long straight right hand for Tyler Vogel. And Vogel, who said he's ambidextrous, prefers in the southpaw stance, but really switching back and forth now here in stances in round three. Nice slip two under the right. hook, huh? Step back, step back, step back, guys, step back. Great quarter by Andrew Glenn. See Vogel pushing that lead hand away from that southpaw stance as Boswick stays in the right-handed orthodox stance. You can see Boswick turn some of those overhand rights, those big hooks into some body punches right there because when he slips underneath him, that does ah. you no good. Puts you in bad position. The, the mental game's being played. I think Vogel, we talked about earlier, I think he, he's right, starting Charlie. to feel a sense of urgency right Knuckle now. Up. Start of round number four. Muted start from both fighters off the scratch line. One, two from Tyler Vogel. And taking that double jab, the first jab missed in round number two. The second landed on Vogel's left shoulder and it dropped him. Again, most likely a 10-8 round. Other than that, this has been a very close fight. Big right hand landed right there. Your right uppercut misses as Bostwick circled out after taking that right hand. Huge swing and a miss from Bostwick. And Frank, to your point, that's really exhausting. 100%. Bostwick has thrown a lot of fastballs. <laughs> He's put a lot on these shots and, and not really reaping any benefits from it. And that's something that can happen to a fighter as the round is going on and you're throwing such intensity. You're not doing nothing to slow the other guy down. So essentially, even though it looks good, maybe you know, you're going and you're being aggressive, you're fatiguing yourself and getting tired. Yeah, th that's great if you land one of those, but if not, then you have to deal with the repercussions of going into a fourth and fifth round. Absolutely. And, and doing no damage. Yeah. See Vogel dropping his hand, sticking out his head, and then eats the left hand. Wow. And that's ruled that. as a slip by that, Andrew Glenn. That definitely could have been called a knockdown. He was held up by the ropes. If the ring ropes support you, it should be ruled a knockdown. Andrew Glenn perhaps felt it was a push and not a punch or the tangling of feet. Twenty seconds remaining, round number four. Huge swing and a miss that duck under from Tyler Vogel. That's what I'm talking about. I'd like to see him put nose to the body instead of the head right there, because you're not going to duck underneath him. It's to the body. Yeah, much harder to get your body out of the way. <laughs> Left hand, short right hand by Tyler Vogel, circling ah! out. And for the first time this evening, we will move to the fifth and final round. That Andrew Glenn was emphatic, immediately did not rule it as a knockdown. Again, in a very close fight, that's perhaps a 10-8 round. Good. Fifth and final round. Very good head movement done right there by Bosman. Left to the body from Jake Bostwick. Hard fought, evenly fought. And looming large. Will that knockdown of Vogel in round number two prove to be the difference on the three Florida judges' scorecards if we get to that point? We're not there yet. 125 to go, fifth and final watch round. Fingers, watch your fingers, guys. Andrew Glenn telling both fighters, watch your fingers. But the creativity there, almost a bolo punch from Vogel. Watch your fingers, guys. And now Boswick claiming that he was fingered in the left eye. We fight on. Bostwick's one over the southpaw. Huh? Left hand. Eye pokes have been exceedingly rare. 
Chris, you can attest to Frank on that. We just have not seen eye pokes in Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship when the naysayers said that's all we would see. I think the big reason for it is you're throwing these hard punches. You got to have a closed fist because if you have it kind of open, you're probably going to hurt your hands a lot more often. So people are holding their hands. They're, they're holding fists. It's hard to get your finger in the eye when you're making a fist. Yeah, another thing too is that, and you know this, the UFC glove itself specifically really almost forces yeah. you to open your hand. It's hard to make a fist. So when your hand relaxes, it's very natural for your fingers to stick straight out. Here, Left hand. Your hands can make a natural back. fist. You have to make a fist. No real impact, but that drew reaction was very pro Jake Bostwick crowd. Vogel now to the body. Ty Plum being Head held second. by Jake Bostwick, but Vogel again unloading to the body. Huge flurry now, final seconds of our co-main event. Ah. Vogel more punches to the belt in the end of the fight. I have just been informed by our officials at ringside that our co-main event will continue one more round. Knuckle up! And to the overtime round we go. Man, this can be very difficult when you plan for a five round fight oh. and you're adrenaline up, everything's different. The not fight's over. No, it's not. On top of that, to add to it, you thought the fight was over with. You go in the corner, you're sitting there, yeah. and, you know, you're like expecting you're drinking water. Like, this is a different mindset that you've now reverted back to that now, like, no, no, flip it back on. You get back into combat mode. Yeah. It would be different if you knew it went five rounds, it was going to go to overtime. You went there, and you thought it was over. Yeah, I'm very impressed with both guys' mindset to be able to click it right back on. But I had a suspicion that Vogel, the momentum he had towards the end of that fifth round, mm -hmm. the minute they said it was going to go a little bit farther, what Bostwick's ability to be able to recover was going to be. And, and right now, Vogel's just continuing on that. You know, he's, he's looser, he's relaxed. And he's not throwing as hard a shot, so he's able to throw a lot more. But one thing I noticed that Vogel's doing very well is he's rolling with these punches. As Boswick's throwing bombs, he's rolling with them as Vogel, and they're not landing as clean that way. Fifty seconds remaining in round number six, the final round of this fight. Check left hook misses from Bostwick. I think both guys right now are just looking for something to, to change the pace of this or, or to steal this round. They need to land something big. Everybody's looking for that one punch that will turn the tables right now. Step back, step back. Knuckle up. Quick separation by Andrew Glenn. Straight one, two from Vogel. Left jab misses from Bostwick. 15 seconds remaining in this fight. Really impressed with Vogel's range, how he's able to move out of dangerous areas right now. Both fighters looking for one more significant punch to land. There's the left hand from Bostwick, partially lands. And now that is the end of the fight. Our judges at ringside have declared your winner, Bruno Jake Bostwick. I personally didn't see it.